Hi, Cancer. Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please remember to take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your situation. Um, also remember to just um, flip and switch the roles, guys. We'll be talking about someone else in your energy. Okay? So let's see. What's coming in for you guys, Cancer? What are the messages here for Cancer Spirit? What is coming in? What is coming towards Cancer? Let's see, guys. So bottom of the deck, we have clearing. Okay, number 32. Somebody could be the age 32. That's five. So could be a lot of changes that are happening. Okay, number five is the higher fence. So that's Taurus energy, right? Yeah. It says you're finding alternative ways to find happiness, clearing away energy that doesn't serve you anymore and aligning more with your higher self. Yeah, the higher fence. So you could be clearing away things that don't align with you, like your morals, your values, different beliefs. Okay, um, standing up for for what you believe in. Okay, um, what else am I trying to say, Spirit? Some of you guys are clearing away, um, being stuck in your ways here. Okay, because you could be stuck in your ways. The Hierophant could talk about that sometimes. But let's see, or clearing clearing out things that you believe as far uh, as far as relationship goes. Relationships go. Okay, so changing your mindset about relationships. Let's see, what else for, okay, Cancer, one more, please. Thank you. So we have Justice, Libra Energy, could be dealing with a Libra, or having in your chart, number 34, somebody could be the age 34. Number seven, that's, uh, what's that, the Chariot? So that is you, Cancer. So it says, circumstances are shifting in your favor, the scales are being balanced, and there will be justice for those that have wronged you in the past. Yeah, so... Definitely clearing out old karmic cycles, okay? Things working out in your favor, you know? Yeah, healing, number seven, again. So it says you're healing your body by releasing any trapped emotions and giving yourself enough time to understand the lessons your pain is trying to teach you. Yeah, so beautiful. All right. Bottom of the deck is signs. So you could be receiving a lot of signs and synchronicities at this time, different symbols, hearing different animals or seeing different animals. Somebody's name could be Karen. Somebody's, somebody uh, has a nickname called Kylie. Okay. People call you Kylie or maybe that is your name, right? Somebody's name is Caroline. Some of y'all could be saying 444 as well as 555. Definitely that. A lot of fives. 9999. So let's see, why is clearing here? I'm hearing something about desperation. So somebody could be doing something out of desperation or somebody's like desperate. What is, okay, clearing. Yeah, Ace of Swords. So yeah, getting intuitive downloads. Some of you guys could definitely be receiving a lot of intuitive downloads. Whatever you're receiving is on point here about a situation or about what you're going through. But definitely receiving clarity, um, the truth, victory and success in something with the Ace of Swords, a new beginning. Definitely a, a breakthrough. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles right here with Ace of Swords, Ten of, Pen uh, Ten of Cups. Then we have the Ten of Pentacles behind the Ace of Swords. So 10, 10. You guys will be seeing those numbers too, 10, 10. What else for clearing? Why is clearing here for Cancer? Okay, the Magician, Two of Cups. Okay, and the Four of Cups. So the Magician coming out first, you could be dealing with the Virgo, Gemini. There's something here that you're manifesting. I feel like there's somebody here that's in a relationship, but there's still some dissatisfaction here or something is at a stalemate. Okay, there could be a relationship here where there's love, but maybe you and this person are separated. Y'all are not together. There's a stalemate or somebody, I'm getting somebody here is never enough for somebody. Somebody is always wanting something more. They're never satisfied is what I'm getting too with this. Okay. For some of you, there is new love in your life or you are in a partnership, but there's something from your past that you're still thinking about. You missed an opportunity with this person or they missed an opportunity with you. For some of you, there's somebody manifesting you that wants a partnership with you, but you're going to ignore them or turn them down with the four of cups. 
Okay, let's see. Yeah, it goes towards new. Ace of Wands, the Fool. Okay, what's, what's the Magician right here? There's like a manifestation coming in or you're manifesting something. Yeah, Six of Swords. I'm moving forward, moving on to calmer waters. Some of you guys are relocating or you're moving. You're trying to manifest a new home or trying to figure out what city or state you want to move to. But Six of Swords is a peace. It's harmony being restored. Um, your spirit guide's guiding you. This could be somebody that's manifesting you that wants to come in. Yeah, the judgment poking out with the Knight of Cups right here. So a second chance. Somebody wants a second chance with you or there's something that you're needing to forgive about your past. I feel like you guys, there could be like fear of rejection here. You're in a connection that I feel like you love, but you guys could be fearing rejection or um, this could be like abandonment issues. Something from your past that made you feel discontent maybe needs to be cleared out. Yeah, clearing. Okay, thank you, Spirit, for the quick um, clarity. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's see. Because things are I feel like things are moving in a positive direction. You manifested something, but now it's like, eh, I don't know. I'm scared or I, I don't. You know, I feel like there's past shit coming up that you're needing to heal. What's the two of cups? Okay, the hangman. Yeah, so there's a need to yeah, shift your perspective. Look at it from a different angle. Yeah, maybe have more fun. Stop being stuck in your head here. Okay, maybe there's something around you or you went through something here that just makes you think negatively about relationships or you're trying to think positively about relationships, but there's triggers here, maybe. The hangman, this is Pisces energy, could be dealing with the Pisces. So definitely a need to release, let something go, shift your perspective. It could be a relationship that's still in your energy, that's floating around. There's love you have for somebody that you're needing to release and let go of because it's just not what you think it is for some of you. Okay, but I feel like for majority of you, you could be in a relationship or maybe you're wanting one, but you're needing to release past issues and move forward. Stop looking back at the past, try to heal. I feel like that's what you're doing with the hangman. There's a need to shift your perspective about a relationship here that you are that you like, right? For some of you, what's the four of cups? Yeah, betrayal. Yeah, stop. Yeah, the everything is fine card, the ten of swords. So stop pretending like everything is okay. Stop ignoring the problem. Get to the root of the problem with the two of swords. Stop being in denial or stop. I feel like for some of you, you're, you're really a strong person. So you, there's like, I'm getting like, I don't know how to describe it, like misplaced strength. Like you have strength and courage and you're very strong, but you, it's okay to like heal. Like stop pretending like you're too, you're too strong or something is not bothering you. This could be an issue with vulnerability or something. But there was a betrayal or something like that that's causing like a stalemate or causing you to overthink or feel overwhelmed. All right, yeah, you're going through a transformation with the death card showing. Scorpio energy, yeah, six of cups, ace of pentacles. Okay. Some of you guys have a new soulmate coming in with the six of cups i always get like past life energy you could be reconciling with somebody from your past life it doesn't have to be somebody that you've met already in this lifetime i keep like i feel like i need to make a video on that because people keep getting like reconciliation i know for my journey especially for my twin flame journey i kept hearing like like reconciliation reconciliation and my that my twin would come back but he would always come back unawakened so it's like i know god would not keep sending me this for me to keep taking this person back and there was no change there. There's something here that's going on that I'm not seeing. So I finally realized that my twin is just like a catalyst for my growth. So a lot of you guys, um, that could be, I don't know why I feel, feel the need to say that. So that could be a situation here that you're needing to see. But I was also trying to say that um, there needs to be some explanation about reconciliation because reconciliation, I feel like confuses a lot of people. They think that their person is coming back healed for some of you, not for everybody, right? They think that their person is coming back healed and it's not. You're reconciling with somebody from your past life that you've never met that's um, like a soulmate, somebody that's going to teach you certain things. And it could be somebody that you're going to end up with, end up being with. There's like stability here. So that's what I'm getting with this for some of you. There's something from your past that you're needing to clear out and move on from this love or this connection that you have with somebody that keeps, maybe they've been in and out or they were doing something here that, I don't know. There could still be genuine feelings and love there, but it's like it's holding you back or keeping you stuck. It's stopping you from moving on to maybe new connections and people that are innocent, that haven't did anything to you. You know, you know what I'm saying? So be mindful of that. 
All right, but um, yeah. And for some of y'all, I'm not even gonna lie. Like now that I'm looking back at it, I feel like that's mm, that's when flame connection feels very false compared to the connection that I'm in now. I would just say like this connection now feels more of a twin flame than the last connection. But I feel like the if that is my twin flame, like they are, they've guided me to my real person, right? So a lot of the twin flame shit that I um, are, am seeing, it's like I'm relearning different things about the twin flame dynamic because I know that I'm on some type of twin flame journey. But I feel like I have the roles flipped or reversed. You know what I'm saying? So, hmm, I don't know. That could be a conversation for another day because, <laughs> you know, we're not going to spend our time doing that. Let me get your reading out. So let's see. So yeah, the four cups, there's something here from your past that it needs to be healed because I feel like it could be fear of rejection or you've been betrayed a lot in your past, which kept you stuck and feeling discontent or unhappy. So, okay. Let's see. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, I keep seeing that. Okay, so what's the justice right here for Cancer? Yeah, beautiful. Okay. Ten of Swords in reverse, Eight of Pentacles and the Emperor. Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands, definitely seven, seven, seven. Okay, you could be seeing. Some of you guys could have been betrayed as far as your finances goes or some type of partnership here. Maybe you work with somebody and you've had a lot of betrayal as far as your jobs and things like that. Like people stealing from you or giving you half-assed paychecks or trying to like scam you or something like that. You just are hard. It's hard to trust people. I get it. So with the Emperor coming, well, with the Ten of Swords coming out first, this is um, healing from something. Definitely healing and letting the betrayal go. It's time to like, yeah. I feel like things are working out in your favor now because the worst of a situation is over. The worst of your, your worries, your struggles, I feel like it are over because you overcame a lot. You overcame challenges and even through those challenges, you kept a positive outlook on life, relationships, but you can't deny the fact that there's triggers here. There's triggers that needs to be healed. I mean, you can't just ignore it. You could be like, okay, well, that happened to me. I just have to deal with it, but... You know, not sitting with yourself and releasing the emotions are what the issue is, I feel like, here, Cancer. So, we have the Emperor with the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be working on a business or this is somebody else in your energy that's working on something or focused on something. Okay. Let's see. What's, uh, what's this Emperor? Who is the Emperor? This could be a father figure in your life or, like I said, it could be a quote-unquote divine masculine or... Some type of masculine in your life that betrays you, that you're getting over. But let's see, what's the emperor? Okay, yeah, the strength card in reverse. Who just had this? Aquarius? You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Yeah, then we have the hermit again. So in Aquarius' is reading, the emperor came out with the strength card in reverse and the hermit like this. So this could be um, connecting in some way, but this is somebody that's um, really insecure. They have a low self-esteem. They feel inadequate. They feel um, not good enough for you or something like that. This could be somebody here that struggles with vulnerability. So they've been like really, yeah, this person. They've been um, the devil, the five of swords, the hermit. They're stuck in their ways or they're stuck. I feel like this person ghosted you a lot. They played a lot of mind games here. I don't know who, if this person is like very revengeful, very spiteful, but some type of toxic energy is here. And your intuition, yeah, your intuition told you to clear something out and now things are changing. Now things are changing. You don't know where you're going though. It's like you don't know which path you're going, if you're not, if you're going down the right path or not, but you are. So yeah, it's something about this person that's insecure. I feel like this person has vulnerability issues. They feel like vulnerability is a weakness, Okay. Yeah, what's this Ten of Swords in reverse? Some of you guys are healing father wounds, father issues. What's the Ten of Swords in reverse? Okay, the Two of Swords. Yeah, all this confusion, illusions, worrying about whatever this is, stress, anxiety, not knowing which path to take. I feel like you guys were confused for a very long time. Okay, so you guys could be feeling anxious or worried. I feel like you're worried that something is going to come back or re, like, uh, like yeah, come back. Yeah, the Ten of Swords is, yeah, that's, this is like anxious energy. So you you could be in your head a lot here. 
you are in your head a lot. There's, there's like a lot of, I feel like you guys have been played with a lot mentally, like a lot of mind games and confusion. So you could suffer from anxiety. Somebody here suffers from anxiety really bad, okay, because of the mind games, because people are playing on your intuition, causing you to doubt yourself. Okay. Let me see. There could be something, like I said, yeah, that you're ignoring that's causing a stalemate inside, like internally. So you need to touch on those feelings and release them, you know. But what's what's the Eight of Pentacles right here? Yeah, okay. So like I was feeling, right? You had a trade in reverse, nine of cups in reverse. Somebody here is getting karma. Yeah, with the justice right here. This is karma for somebody. The worst is yet to come here with the Ten of Swords. This is for somebody else. I feel like this is Emperor, whoever the fuck this is. Okay. The worst is yet to come for them. I feel like they're the ones that's suffering. Yeah, you close the cycle out. You could be starting new. Yeah, I feel like you walked away. So it could be triggers from whoever the fuck this is. Nine of Cups in reverse is somebody that's immature. I feel like um, definitely did, here's you, Cancer. So it could be another Cancer in your energy or this is just what's causing a blockage with you, okay? But Nine of Cups in reverse is like shattered dreams, uh, a wish not being fulfilled or granted. I feel like somebody feels uncomfortable. Somebody here could suffer from addictions that could be blocking their path. Some type of addictions here that's blocking somebody. Okay. Um, somebody here just very childish, very immature. Somebody could be losing a job. There's something that somebody is trying to get off the ground or do that they're not, it's not going to work. Okay. It's not with the eight of pentacles. Somebody here could be really money focused, but they're not emotionally satisfied. They're uncomfortable. They're unhappy. It's like something is not sitting right within them. Yeah. Let me see. It's like somebody's trying to focus on work or their, I don't know. They're trying to, it's like somebody's trying to take their focus off what they feel, their pain. And I feel like, in a sense, this is karma. Because whoever this is, that they have wronged you in the past. So, what's this Nine of Cups in reverse? Yeah, the moon. Yeah, hidden emotions, feelings. Yeah, being deep in their... Whoever this is, is like deep in their feelings. This is Cancer Pisces energy. Somebody's like feelings is all over the place. It's, it's something that, they've, that they're hiding from you as well. Something that they're hiding or... Because I feel like now this is somebody else's energy. <clears throat> Cause you're moving forward with the six six of swords but yeah it's something that somebody here is hiding they're not happy about it could be some type of addiction that they haven't told you about or just the fact that they've been immature they've been childish they've really like have done you wrong because of their own selfish petty reasons i don't know what the fuck this is but they're unhappy though definitely unhappy this person has low self-esteem especially with the strength card in reverse this person is very negative. They're unhappy. This this is like misery. Yeah, this is misery. Yeah, look at your ass. This could be you. You have Earth in your chart. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be a Gemini, Leo in your chart. Or this could be who this is. Yeah, you're happy. Some of you guys are going into a very nice relationship with a soulmate that's going to make you happy. A lot of maybe fertility. So just be mindful. Some of you guys could be becoming mothers if you fuck with this person long enough. <laughs> You know, so um, definitely enlightenment and exposure about connections here, about a connection that you're in that I feel like makes you feel very disappointed, but it's like bittersweet. It's like you're winning anyway, so it doesn't even matter. But, you know, what's the chariot in reverse? I mean, it does matter in a sense of like you need to heal that and move forward because I just feel like you know that something is not changing. What's the chariot in reverse? You're the star. Somebody's like sad. They're in despair. They're pessimistic. They're very hopeless. They're just very just like upset. <laughs> Whoever this is right here is getting karma. Yeah. Yep. You guys could be dating somebody new. Definitely feel that. But <clears throat> so let's see. What is healing? Yeah. The will of fortune. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Ten of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio with the Wheel of Fortune. 
Some of you guys could be healing from a family dynamic, somebody that you have children with that's codependent on you, or I don't know, somebody in your family could have been stealing. They could have been a, a con artist or very dependent on you. I feel like something is changing with that situation. Some of you guys could still have codependency issues that need to be healed. Okay, I'm just getting that for some of you, right? Like abandonment issues and I don't know. Hmm, let's see. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. It's like somebody that's a gold digger. They marry for money. <clears throat> okay, somebody that's a user. Let's see. What's 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 this Nine of Pentacles in reverse? Some of you guys need to stop over like overspending. You need to heal something as far as your finances goes. Or this is somebody else. What's this Nine of Pentacles in reverse? Okay, yeah, three of cups. Too much partying, too much going out, too much like it's time to like focus maybe on your finances or there's people around you that you're taking care of or is this person that is draining their pocket somebody's like broke they're bankrupt or something like that is going on here what's the nine of pentacles in reverse with the three of cups <clears throat> okay yeah king of pentacles the death card okay so i'm getting to somebody here is not single somebody's in a relationship they're already in a relationship. They're already tied to something. They're, it's like this person completely betrayed you here because of their own low self-esteem, their insecurities. They're with somebody that's just like this, that's using them for their finances. This person could still be stuck with this person. They're indulging in, in different things and doing different things on there. I feel like y'all are on two different paths now. You and this person, y'all not, something has changed with this path that you were on with this person because they're committed to something or they're committed to a certain type of lifestyle that's not fitting for you. Somebody has a, a very unhealthy relationship with money and finances, or it's like somebody's like keeping up appearances. Somebody's like very superficial. They're into that type of shit. And it's like, that's not the path that you're on. You want something real genuine. And I feel like that's what you're going to go get. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. You're not, whatever this is, is not healthy for you. This partying, this drinking, this uh, overindulging in that there's nothing wrong with going to a party or having a drink or smoking weed or whatever but when you it's too much of something it's not good so you know but what's the ten of cups yeah king of wands in reverse so something here i feel like it's going to shift in your favor when it comes down to this person somebody here could be in an abusive relationship or they're they're with somebody that's like a tyrant or very oppressive or controlling them Okay, the King of Wands in reverse could also talk about a lack of confidence. Somebody here just lacks the confidence and the assertiveness, the boldness to come towards you and speak up or say something or take action. All right. This person has a big ego. They're very prideful. What's this King of Wands in reverse? Yeah, the High Priestess. Yeah, something is telling you something about... I mean, Spirit, obviously, is telling you something about this person. Somebody here could be... This person could have like have a child on the way or they're they're pregnant or somebody that somebody is with this gold digger energy. They have a family or they're starting a family here. So it's, it's like they have to stay stuck in the situation with this person because they're pregnant. They really I feel like somebody really doesn't want to be here, but they feel like they need to provide and protect. You know, is what I'm getting to. Wow. So there, I feel like, you know, Cancer, there's a lot that you just don't know about behind the scenes about this person. You, your intuition is telling you something, though. You could be dealing with the Pisces with the High Priestess. One more for this King of Wands in reverse. I feel like somebody's intuition too is telling them to like say something or do something, but they're just not. I feel like, yeah, the lovers. Yeah, a choice between two, possibly a major decision, major life changes. Somebody here needs to get balance within their energy. They are so off balance, whoever the fuck this is. Yeah, there's like sex, sex here and with the high priestess, that's definitely fertility, pregnancy. I mean, with the lovers, that sexuality is sex. So there, there's something here that this person is learning. I feel like this is a person that's learning about something that's going on in their life. I feel like their energy is all over the place. So... That's just a tall tale. They're confused. It's like they make reckless decisions without having cl like clarity. They just do shit. 
Okay. Hmm. What's this high priestess? Yeah, nine of wands. Yeah, guardedness. An ongoing battle. Something that's stressing somebody the fuck out. Yeah, your intuition is telling you something. For some of you, your intuition is telling you something about this person in your family or somebody that you have children with. They're put, I feel like they're putting on a facade because they can have somebody else too, but it's like they're not happy with that person. It looks good, but it's, it's really fucking miserable. Whatever this is, somebody's like very controlling, very abusive or like a tyrant. And I feel like you know something about this situation that they're in, but they're, too, they're like so busy trying to hurt you or causing something with you and them. You could have kids with them already, but they're with somebody else. Y'all get what I'm saying? They're with someone else. And like, that shit is fake as fuck. They really want you, but they lack the confidence. They know that you are too, you've grown too much for this person. It's just what it looks like. What's the lovers? Cause I feel like you're very guarded towards them. You know something is not right. Yeah, the ace of swords. So the truth, what I just said is the truth. Yeah, you can have kids with somebody here, Cancer, but um, Ace of Swords is like clarity. You're seeing the truth about a situation. Somebody's never going to take action. They're never going to stop trying to control this relationship and control the love that they have for you. This person's still going to be stuck with the bullshit that they're in. Okay, uh, Ace of Swords, or they're not going to change or something like that. But the Ace of Swords is definitely clarity. It's truth. It's a victory. Some of you guys could be in a very nice connection with the Kindred Spirit. Okay, somebody that really matches your energy is a well-balanced connection. There's a lot of truth here. Um, there could be a secret, too, that you just know. You know a secret about somebody, about a connection. You just know something is going on with somebody's ass, and it's the truth. With the Ace of Swords, you know to keep yourself guarded away from this or stay away from it or whatever the fuck it is, you know? You know the truth about somebody having another lover as well. Yeah, it's like... But there's a breakthrough here. I feel like you're going to find out something or this is just intuitively, you know, like sometimes you just got to listen to your intuition and move on without seeing something clear, you know, and it's frustrating because it's like you want to see what you're doing, but trust your intuition. What's the will of fortune? Okay, yeah, queen of cups with the full Aquarius Aries energy with the full. So yeah, a new beginning. I feel like you're taking your emotions, your feelings, and you're putting it somewhere else into something else, okay? You know, I feel like you're freeing yourself from this. And I feel like it's an emotional attachment you have to somebody. There's like a bond or some type of emotional attachment. There's still somebody you have love for, but it's burdening you. I feel like it's weighing you the fuck down. Yeah, I feel like so now you're just blocking it, you're closing it out and moving forward. There's a lot of new opportunities ahead of you, so just embrace the new. Embrace the new. Set yourself free. That's what's changing here. You being stuck to these toxic situations and I feel like you're just going to go ahead and listen to your intuition and heal from this and move on. Because definitely somebody got some bullshit here that they're just not saying. And they're keeping it a secret, but you know, I feel like you know, and they know that you know. <clears throat> That's probably why they're not saying anything or taking action or whatever. Somebody's already committed or loyal somewhere else or... If that's not the case for some of you, it's this person that you have children with this person and they've been like really oppressive or it's like they don't want you to move on with nobody else. So they kind of like have this control over you and you notice somebody's like jealous of a relationship. They're envious of you and the relationship. Okay. So let's see for cancer. Hmm. Yeah, it's a lot of bullshit here. So, I mean, I can understand why it's very hurtful or why you've been trying to ignore the feelings, but I feel like it needs to be taken care of in order for you to be successful in whatever this is over here. There's two of cups because I feel like you're happy, but there's still a sense of like discontentment or triggers coming up because of this bullshit. Bottom of the deck is bay. Yeah, boot thing, new love and flirting. Yeah, bet. Without a doubt, mutual agreement, confirmation. Yep, detox, purge, release, reset. Yeah. So definitely these three cards are very much so significant. 
you have a new bae, you're flirting, you're having fun with this person. This is new love coming in. Some of you guys are getting ready to take trips with this person and they are confirming, their actions are confirming everything that you want, everything that you manifested is, is, is showing through, I mean, this person is showing you that they want you. You're getting confirmations about this is your person, this is who you're supposed to be with right now, whatever. It's not this past loser. Whatever the fuck they, they got going on, it's not their ass. So, yeah, it's time to purge, release, reset. Some of you guys are detoxing. Okay, I just heard something about diarrhea. <laughs> okay, some of y'all might got diarrhea. That's your way of purging. Like, I mean, that's natural. Well, I don't know. It could be something that you're eating, but y'all get what I'm saying. It's natural, and that's something that people go through. <laughs> okay, but anyways, <laughs> moving on. Okay, what else? What else? Yeah, cuffed. I can't make it up. Taken. Wedding bills. One and only. Yeah. So if this wasn't a confirmation enough for you about this new relationship and about this person over here, I don't know what it is, really. Because y'all are in a relationship that you are really stressing about. Yeah, zaddy. A real fucking divine masculine. Assertive and yang. So somebody here is really assertive with you. That's why I said in the beginning, you could have been with a false one for some of you. Or I don't know. You, you had a false twin or something like that. I'm doing more research on that so I can incorporate it on my channel because, honey, this journey has been crazy as hell. It's like a big-ass plot twist, this journey. <laughs> you know, but let's see. What else? Somebody is showing you that they really fuck with you. Yeah, look, power couple. King, queen vibes, money moves, and business mindset. So somebody here is about their dough, their money. They want to grow with you. They want to be this power couple. Yeah, you and this person. Yeah. Okay, then we have squad, inner, inner circle, family, and partying. Then we have bussing, tasty, amazing, no complaints. Yes, y'all. <laughs> okay, period. I feel like you guys are having a good time. Okay, you guys are having a good time with somebody. Okay, y'all know when I heard bussing, I heard something nasty. I'm just saying how I feel it. Okay, this person is, is getting you right in the bedroom. <laughs> okay, cancer, like really embrace it and stop focusing on this person. Or maybe that you're not focused on it, but I feel like you're still being triggered because you're, this relationship is not going to be perfect that you're in. This person is probably still going to trigger you. And I feel like this relationship is very healthy to the point where you can explain to them what's going on with you and they will help you. So, okay. Somebody here really loves cookies, um, chocolate chip cookies or oatmeal raisin. Oh, y'all. Y'all like oatmeal raisin? I don't like that. <laughs> Okay, but something is very sweet with this honey drizzling over these cookies. Like, it's, it's, I don't know, it's nice. Okay, what else? For, um, yeah, so we have brick wall, guarded, defensive, and hesitant. Salty, spiteful, dramatic, and jealousy. Yeah, it could, this could be this third party too. I feel like there's a third party here with this person that's salty, they're jealous. I feel like every time this person tries to leave them, they get mad, they start acting stupid as fuck. So I feel like this person just doesn't want to deal with that shit, so they stay. Mm. They stay. Yeah, this is somebody that pulls on your heartstrings. Yeah, so it says toxic, yeah. Two-faced trauma bonding and conflict of interest. Yep. Smash. Hook up pleasure, a fling. And then we have sneaky link. Side piece on the low one night. Yeah. So I feel like whoever this is just keeps coming in and out, in and out of your life. That's what I felt. And you know, real twins, they don't do that. That's why I be having to look at my twin flame situations. Like I feel like for some of you, what I've experienced so far is a real twin flame. They are um, going to leave you well, I guess that's different for everybody, right? But from what I've experienced, like they, they leave for a brief period of time. And I feel like once you set boundaries and they, they respect your boundaries, they come back with their shit together. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, I'm just getting different. I'm feeling different about these twin flame connections now, right? A twin flame is not going to treat you like a sneaky link. They're not going to fucking be in and out of your life and come back on the same shit over and over and over again. This is a strong soul tie you have with this person. It felt like a very, it, very much so a twin flame, but it's not toxic like this. This shit is very much so toxic. And you know, with twin flames, it's like, well, a real twin flame is not going to abuse you. They're not going to da, da 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 But I feel like it's more than that too. It's not just, you can't just narrow it down to abuse. It's like somebody's not going to keep running in and out and not speaking to you when you are communicating with them, asking them questions. They're not going to like lie to you there it's just certain things that i feel like a real twin is not going to do versus a false one so you know it could be very confusing you know cancer so um 
of course anybody for you is is you is not going to abuse you in any shape form or fashion but these false twin flames is very confusing y'all have to look that shit up <laughs> okay because i'm i'm still studying my journey too i have knowledge but a lot of should be a plot twist so you got to be careful but let's see all right bottom of the deck is paranoia nervousness on edge obsession so you are paranoid about something or this is this person yeah run away dodge escape avoid for some of you guys you're getting ready to get married or engaged and you're getting cold feet or this relationship is giving you cold feet it's like you want to backtrack but it's making you happy so don't yeah you're snooping curious interested inquisitive yeah <laughs> okay you're gonna be a runaway bride here cancer don't do that or uh grown <laughs> what else okay so yeah snooping wants to come out we have oblivious unaware blind and clueless then we have snooping curious interested inquisitive yeah illusion something here is an illusion then we have rebirth yeah holding back run away this is this person that's running away yeah flirtatious they come in very like trying to seduce you and so what what is paranoia really quick what's paranoia hidden concealed secrecy and shady so you could be feeling like somebody's being shady with you i mean this person is over here what's paranoia with hidden separation yes yeah, severing ties broken bond distrust yeah this person i don't know if they're projecting that energy onto you they're thinking about you and they're causing you to think about them type shit they're in your energy and they're hiding something or whoever this is for some of you it's not this i'm feeling like there's like three situations going on for some of you this is a strict this is a karmic this is a karmic that you're paranoid about you know that they're hiding something or trying to be shady or trying to sneak up on you in a way because you separated. You closed this cycle out with them. You don't want nothing to do with their ass. You don't trust them anymore. So you know that they're hiding something. Okay, that's for somebody. Because I feel like there's a lot of situations going on. It could go all type of ways for different people. What's snooping? So now somebody's trying to act oblivious like they don't know what's going on or what they did. Yeah, the truth. Clarity, insight, illumination. Yeah, so you're searching for answers. You're searching for truth. Okay, there's something that you're trying to get here. Or somebody's looking at you and saying the truth about a situation that you're done with them. You don't want shit to do with them. What's oblivious? Manipulator. Yeah, slick, clever, smooth talker. Then we have betrayal, heartbreak, pain, emotional pain, and deception. So somebody here is acting like they don't know what the fuck they did. They're acting like they don't know what they did. They're moving like they didn't do anything. You know, they're very careless. Yeah. And you just moved on with your life. I feel like somebody's very rigid. They're stubborn as fuck. But they do this shit on purpose to hurt other people. They're just a nasty energy. Or this is, I don't know. Some people are really unaware of the fact that they're a narcissist. <laughs> and I feel like, bitch, you need to understand that shit right now. Because you, I don't know. But, um. Or somebody here is trying to act like they're not hurt. But I feel like this is more so of them towards you. Like, they're acting like they don't know what the fuck they did. And you see them with your own two eyes. This person is a gaslighter. <laughs> they're a gaslighter. So, okay. And that's abuse. That's definitely abuse. So, hmm. let's see. Let's pull from the self-love oracle. I mean, the self-love oracle. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck is 11. Clarify your desire. Be clear about what you want. Do not ask out of lack, but from the deepest joy in your heart. Yeah. Yeah, then we have pay it forward. Be the answer to someone's prayers. What else for cancer? Hmm. Yeah, know what you want moving forward. So we have number 10, coexist. Be as you are without harm to anyone or anything. Appreciate diversity as a part of nature. Variety is a spice of life. Bottom of the deck, number 30, be nimble. When we ask for help, we must be open to receiving it. We may be called to be flexible when help arrives in unexpected forms. Okay, so let's read um, number 11. Clarify your desires. Because definitely that. So we have number 10, number 11. Hmm. So it says, clarity, 
results from knowing and accepting ourselves in every moment. It can come in the form of a feeling, a thought, a desire, a dream. Confusion, on the other hand, results from resistance, denial, giving our power over to must and shoulds. Whenever our mind feels muddy, it's likely from the turmoil of confusion. Some of us do not know what we want, especially when we've neglected our sheed away from asking ourselves the right questions. What do I want? What do I, I mean, why do I want this? Why do I want that and not this? What are the real reasons behind my answers? And when we discover our truths, do we accept them or do we deny our truths because they show us what we judge to be weaknesses? Being honest with ourselves and accepting our innermost truths will make our desires clearer. We all want love, security, abundance, and purpose. Clarity on these feelings alone can be enough. When focusing on what it's like to have these desires already fulfilled, we carry that energy of love, security, abundance, and purpose. We can then work through out, work out the necessary steps and actions needed to bring the specific results that we want. Positive emotions and honest self-acceptance will always lend peace and clarity to your inner space. Together, we con we concrete. I mean, together with concrete steps towards your goal, not only are you on the way to its realization, but every step on your journey will be fruitful and enjoyable. Yeah, so so definitely, I feel like you are becoming clear about what you want, and the fact that you have to clear and uh, heal this energy because if you keep thinking about it, you're going to manifest this in your relationship. Okay, and I feel like you really have a good relationship here, so don't sabotage it. I feel like you're sabotaging a bit or something like that because of, of fear and nervousness and being gaslight. I feel like you feel like a lot of people are shading you or being sneaky it's because you're dealing, you've had this type of shit and I get it. But don't stay a victim. Heal. And cause, because I know cancer. I know damn well y'all not going back to this person. You better not. <laughs> I mean, y'all can do what the fuck y'all want, but I'm just here to be the advice giver, I guess, and show you what's in your energy. So that way you can make the decision yourself, but do what you want to do, shit. <laughs> I don't know, but this was your reading, though. Let me know in the comments how this resonated. Um, how you feel about the Twin Flame journey as well? For some of you, I know a lot of y'all that watch my channel are. Okay, I just don't know how many cancers are on the Twin Flame journey. So let me know how you feel about it. Let me know if you feel like it's a plot to it. It's like, if you've been on a journey where you thought somebody was your twin, and like and it, they show like real traits of a twin flame like it's really real traits there but it's like the runner and the chaser dynamic i don't know that shit is like confusing now but let me know in the comments how you feel about it um like subscribe turn your notification bell on and i'll talk to you guys later bye